What's up guys and welcome back to our channel. Thanks for joining the Pioneer Library System today. For those of you who have never seen me before, my name is Brooklyn and today I got a little science experiment for you. Now for this we will need four things. First off, you will need your parents' permission. It's a really simple, easy experiment. We still gotta check, make sure it's okay. Next, we will need a plate. Very simple plate. I'm using a dollar one from Dollar Tree as you just gotta make sure it's got a glossy finish to it. Now, next thing we will need, dry erase marker. And I do mean dry erase. You cannot use an actual marker for this. You will need, again, dry erase. Now, the third and the fourth and final thing we will need is water, which I have within this, within this pitcher. All right, but that's it. Super simple, four, four little things. And with that, let's get into the experiment. All right, so here I have a few of our ingredients laying out and I'm gonna take our dry erase marker and start drawing things on the plate. Now, a, tri a tip is to draw very lightly. Don't press down too hard on the marker, but I'm just drawing a few things like a stick figure, a sun. I know my drawings aren't great, that's okay, don't judge. But while I'm doing this, I want you to start thinking about what you predict will happen when during the experiment. But I just drew SLC and some shapes for our summer learning challenge. And now, now that I'm all done drawing, I'm going to take our water and I'm going to start pouring it onto the edge of the plate. Now you want to be very careful when doing this. You want to do it super slow. Now if you draw, pour it directly onto the ink, it will destroy the picture. So you want to do it onto the side of the plate. And now it may make a bit of a mess, but that's okay. It's just water. We can easily wipe it up. And as you can see, the ink starts to flow. Isn't that pretty amazing? But I'm just moving the plate around here to show you that ink is completely off the page. Isn't that super cool? You can move the ink around with your finger, but you gotta be very careful. The ink is super sensitive. You can also pick it up onto your hand and it will stay there and then easily wipe away when you're done. But again, I'm just moving the ink around with my finger and I'm destroying the sun a bit, but creating a little bit of a whirlpool effect. Just have some fun with it. You can move the plate around. You can do this in so many ways, but yeah, that is the experiment. And welcome back. So were any of you guys able to guess the results of the experiment? And if you did, do you know why? So I want to get a little bit into that. And the main reason is because of the difference between a normal marker and an expo marker. And that is a adhesive polymer. So a normal marker has a very adhesive polymer and by that I just mean a stickiness so when you draw on something that ink will stick to the paper and it will never come off you can never wipe it off can't move it nothing it sticks there now with a dry erase marker it has a very small adhesive polymer so if you draw on maybe glass or a whiteboard you can wipe that away it won't stay there forever it'll move now, when we drew on the plate, it first stayed there because we didn't touch it. But when we poured the water on there, the water has a buoyancy effect in it, which means to float. So that buoyancy effect was even stronger than the, the very light adhesive that was in a dry erase marker. So that water picked up that ink and it started to float. And that's the reason why. Very simple, but it is very cool. And with that, it's getting toward the end of the video. So if you guys do want to see any more experiments, put them down in the comments below so we know to make them, so we can have see your guys' suggestions and try hopefully make them for you. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, we already have a ton uploaded and you can keep get, earning those summer learning points and we are having more uploaded too. So if you want to hit that subscribe button so you can find out when it's going to happen. And with that, it is time to say goodbye. Till next time. Bye guys.